Good morning, Alma Mess. It's Persia here bringing you your school news for today. Today is day five, Thursday, March 24th, and these are your student announcements. If you are staying after school today and need to ride the late bus, you must sign up in Schoology by 9 a.m. Sixth grade pretzel sale is tomorrow. You must report to your period nine homeroom first. You may not come straight to the pretzel table at the start of ninth period. Our Swibus pretzel helpers will go door to door to all the homeroom classes to invite students into the hallway for our sale. All pretzels are $1. We hope to see your hungry faces there. The What's So Cool About Manufacturing video is live. Watch on whatsocool.org and be sure to vote for our video as often as you want from now through Friday. Do you love Texas Roadhouse? Come out to Texas Roadhouse tonight, eat in or order food to go, show them the flyer that's on Schoology, and Texas Roadhouse will donate 10% of all sales to our upcoming musical. Eat some good food and support your theater program. Kids Choir Practice is today. The student council meeting scheduled for today has been canceled. The next meeting will be Thursday, April 7th. Student council dollar days for the Lehigh County Humane Society run through April 1st. The goal is to raise $1,000 as a school. Please consider donating. Every little bit helps. Your donation will, be, will help abused and unwanted animals. The classes that raise the most money will get a Rita's Ice Party. Interested in being part of the Buzz TV crew next year? The first round of applications are due online by Sunday midnight. Reading Olympics team members, please fill out the t-shirt order form on School G ASAP. Remember, the last meeting is April 21st. It will be the competition against other middle school teams. 2021 leftover yearbooks will be sold on a first-come, first-served basis. You need to order these in School G. They will be delivered tomorrow. Success team bingo for 8th grade is tomorrow in the Gymside LGI periods 8 and 9 for those who signed up. 7th grade must sign up by tomorrow for next week's bingo. There are gift card prizes. The cost is 15 zings and can be purchased in the zing store. The hive is open for 6th grade only today. Today's lunch is cheesesteak hoagie and tomorrow's lunch is grilled cheese sandwich. Well, that's all the school news I have for you today. Now on over to Clara with your world news. Good morning, LMS. My name is Clara Janine and this is your world news update. A road in London is closed for almost a month. Why? Well, to protect migrating toads hopping across, of course. There are even volunteer toad patrol members making sure that the toads are safe. The toads are crossing the road to get to the ponds where they breed. So what do you think about this, Alma Mess? That's all for your World News Update. I'm Claire Janine for Buzz TV. Hi, Alma Mess. Today we'll have a 75% chance of showers with a high of 52 and a low of 43, and tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 54 and a low of 39. As well for me, Alma Mess, now we're over to your sports news. Good morning, LMS. It's Ella bringing you your sports news. Today, I bring you some unexpected news. Tuesday night, Ashley Barton announced that she was retiring at age 25, just weeks after winning the Australian Open. Barty was a tennis player's tennis player who had clearly established herself over the last year as the best in the world. But outside of Australia, she was not a classic superstar because she simply didn't want to be. Barty's sudden retirement had a lot of people who don't follow sport closely questioning why so many in the absolute prime of their career, who would have certainly added more several Grand Slam titles to the three she already won, would step away now. USA Today states, but Barty's announcement, while shocking, should not actually be much of a surprise. Among all the professional sports in the world, tennis is arguably the most grueling lifestyle. Many of the top players, especially women, are professionals by their mid-teens. To make it big, it usually requires years of scratching and clawing through minor tournaments and qualifying events into the big ones, so that eventually you can get a ranking high enough to pick and choose where you want to play. What do you think about this famous tennis player retiring LMMS? Well, that's all for me. Now let's head on over to your entertainment news. Good morning, LMMS. Sabi here with your entertainment news. Bridgerton is an American streaming television period drama series created by Chris Von Dusen and produced by Shonda, Shonda Rhimes. 
It is based on Julia Quinn's novel set in, compet in the competitive world of Regency era London's ton during the season when young girls are presented at court. It is Rhyme's first scripted Netflix series. Bridgerton debuted on Netflix on December 25, 2020. The eight-episode first season was met with positive reviews, with a viewership of 82 million households. It became the most-watched series on Netflix at the time of its premiere, and remains the second-most-watched series by total watch time on the platform. The series reached number one in 76 countries on Netflix in January 2021. The series was renewed for a second season, which is set to premiere on March 25, 2022 which means it's coming out this Friday. In April 2021, creator Von Dusen revealed on Twitter that the series had additionally been renewed for a third and fourth season. That, that's all for me. Now on to your bit for the day. Three, two, one. Not four. <laughs> I did a nice thing. All right, bye. <laughs> I got hyper and I got drippy. <laughs> Hi! Let me hit